and you and Craig were running your first fund for the first time. How challenging was that in terms of fundraising itself? since you didn't have a track record to lean on. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the most frustrating for us about fundraising was that we've been in the startup ecosystem for a long time, we've managed programs, helped startups and entrepreneurs for both of us a very long time. And we have an established reputation ecosystem. Uh, and obviously, after running the NeuroD program, we had experience with choosing startups that get invested the whole investment process and kind of managing that. But in the ecosystem, there is just this thing that it's not your track record unless it's actually your money, your funds that you've actually raised. That's what counts as your track record. So when we were starting out, we were thinking about size of the fund and basically the advice that we kept getting was just raise a small fund, do it quickly, deploy it quickly, show that you have the first fund and then go on and raise your second fund and then you'll charge record. So that's what we did. And I'm glad that we did that because I feel like we had no idea what we were doing. We were learning on the job for sure. Like everything from paperwork process, legal, accounting, to even just pitching LP, being comfortable with answering their questions. And I think for me, that was a big thing that I was really uncomfortable with was pitching to potential investors in our fund because in my mind, yes, I have this idea that these people with a lot of money and you just instantly start thinking about power dynamic and you just get into kind of a negative space and then you start stuttering on your words and the whole pitch just ends up messed up. So for me, that definitely took a lot longer than I think it took me um, to get comfortable with. But yeah, I mean, fundraising is definitely a whole different skill set, a different process. And especially fundraising for a fund is completely different 